Welcome to Mountains of Nova Scotia Part 9. Today we venture into the unknown to summit a peak that few people have visited and that none, if any, have documented. Spotted Mountain. Day 1, we hike up to Bald Mountain Summit and set up a base camp. Day 2, we push for Spotted Mountain Summit and hopefully find a great look off in the process. And then hike back down to our base camp. Day 3, we retrace our steps down Bald Mountain and out of the Highlands. We have a great crew along for this one too. Ashley, Shane and Alicia, Sam, Jamie, Gaia, Hillary, and of course the man who planned the whole trip, Gordon. <laughs> As we break for lunch on Big Bedeck Brook, we notice something pretty cool. Back in December, me, Gordon, Shane, and Alicia camped out on Bald Mountain. Unfortunately, I lost all that footage to a hard drive malfunction. However, what wasn't lost was a rough stone bridge that we had built to cross the stream back in December. Over the winter, those stones we had thrown in the brook had built up enough snow and ice to create a snow bridge, which allowed us to get across. It's good to go, I think, yeah. Perfect. So that right there is the ridge we've been climbing up for the last couple hours. It wasn't overly steep, but it was a really consistent incline and really deep snow. So it was a, it was a big challenge. We had to take turns breaking trail. Now we're on the summit of Bald Mountain. It's time to find a campsite. I feel like a turtle on its back. I just had that walk up. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh there you go, Thank buddy. You. No worries. <laughs> First bite, how is it? <laughs> oh. It's so good. You wouldn't believe how good that is. <laughs> it's just euphoric. Mm. <laughs> it's not working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I can picture that. Heard some uh, coyotes last night. Yeah, I heard coyotes at around 10 o'clock, and then again around 11. They were over here first, big pack of them, and then over there, secondly. 
right at the very end there is the male just let out some good ones yeah he's dominant out of our group who's who's the alpha coyote i think probably you gordon <laughs> <laughs> i don't know about that give us a howl <laughs> breakfast mac and cheese wasn't feeling oatmeal Yeah, I'm not making the same mistake I made last night. What's that? I'm gonna make a new mistake. Oh, when I, I spilled my meal all, all over myself. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh no no! Jamie packing up here. So a really good tip for multi-day uh, winter trips is before bed, the socks that you wore that day, tuck them inside your base layer, right on your shoulder and they are crisp and dry in the morning. They're perfect. It obviously, it sucks putting cold, wet socks on you at night, but the payoff in the morning is more than worth it. About negative seven Celsius right now. Overnight it was close to negative 12. So I think this is about as warm as it's gonna get today and then tonight it's gonna be even colder, probably closer to, to negative 20, so. Winter weather, it's awesome. Good luck today, we'll folks. Thanks. We'll get out of here soon. Goodbye. <laughs> awesome meeting you. Oh, you See you, buddy. Take care, man. Take care, man. Yeah, as always, we'll get out again soon. We're down, uh, we're down four of the nine, so there's five left. Yep. We're off for the summit of Spotted Mountain, Egg. Yeah. Let's, let's get to the top of Spotted. Let's do it. Someone film where I am right now. <laughs> Found a nice little tree wall. I think I might just call it home and uh, you guys can go on. I'm okay. just gonna chill here. <laughs> it's actually kind of cozy. It looks it's cozy. Deep here. Two meters. That's cool. At first, we made good time crossing the frozen Highland Barrens. But progress was eventually slow due to deep tree wells, white oak conditions, and deep brooks. But the biggest deterrent of all was time. Great mountaineers, past or present, will tell you that they listen to the mountains. If something doesn't feel right, it's probably because that's the case. Today, the mountains made it clear that they wouldn't let us get to spot now, and they thanked us by lifting the storm as soon as we got back to camp. As the sun set, we had great laughs and conversation as we sat around the fire and built the great snow wall. I mean, look at this thing. Pretty unreal. Moods were not dampened because we didn't summit. We were just happy to spend time together in the great outdoors. But still, I felt that I needed to get something done for the book. So as the sun set and the coyotes sang us to sleep, we thought of the plan. The next morning at first light, Sam and I descended Ball Mountain Get you. Well done. and drove an hour and a half up Cape Breton's western coast to a trail that's not only Nova Scotia's most hiked mountain, but what might be Nova Scotia's most hiked trail, period. The Skyline Trail. Sam, where are we going right now? We are going to Skyline Trail. i try to catch a little, little sunset action if there's any. Woo! Skyline Trail, baby! It is cold and windy, and also not plowed. It's gonna add a little bit to our trip. There's a gate here to keep the moose out of certain parts of the trail, but the snow is so deep and so frozen that you can't move it, so we have to jump it. The weather on the hike to the edge of the mound 
was a perfect representation of what adventuring the Highlands can be, a gamble. With dark storm clouds moving in around us, but the sun still shining bright straight ahead, we had no idea what to expect at the end. But that's part of the fun, and sometimes the gamble pays off. <laughs>